I have a passion, a passion for flight. This is a model airplane kit. It's no ordinary model airplane kit. What I found inside this box was invaluable. I found this life-changing value because of Don Kennedy, a band teacher at Southern Illinois University when I was only 10 years old. Not only was he a teacher, but he was also my father. In fact, I'm wearing his jacket right now. He taught me how to build this balsa model aircraft, and I went on to build dozens of models before I was 18 years old. What I found inside this box was passion, a long life passion, the kind of passion that drove me to get a multi-engine pilot rating and own and fly many different aircraft. The kind of passion so strong that it gave me the endless drive and energy to build my own full-size home-built aircraft that took over 13 years to complete. This aircraft took flight with a human being on board, piloting it, and propelling him through the sky at 220 miles an hour and returning him safely back to the airport. Now I didn't build something that took a man to the moon, but I did build something that at one time was only a dream. Realizing a dream is an incredible gift, yielding a wide range of positive, energizing emotions, especially watching your home-built plane fly from the seat of a chase plane flying in formation. I guess you never know when or where you will find a passion. Who knew that a passion starting from a small box of balsa wood could have such a positive impact on my life so far? My name is Clark Kennedy, and today's show is about making a positive impact on the lives of the people around you. You're going to see how my joining the Chino Valley Chamber of Commerce triggered a contest with students from Professor Michelle Dowd's journalism and media class at Chafee College. Maybe, just maybe, my passion will help someone from the Chino Valley Chamber of Commerce, possibly a Discovery Flight raffle winner, Chafee College, the flight school, or one of tonight's contestants, even a member of the audience, to find a passion or experience a positive impact in their life. Tonight, Five teams of students have entered their project media kits into a competition for recognition and cash prizes. Hopefully, at least some of these students will have found a passion for journalism similar to the one I found for flight. I'm here at Chino Airport in the hangar of Bob Hayden and Steve Peters, where they have two beautiful vintage steermen. This competition started as an idea at the Chino Valley Chamber of Commerce Business at Breakfast. I met Zeb Wellborn, the president. He asked if I would be willing to help improve the attendance. We decided that we would raffle off discovery rides from Devois Aviation and that students from Professor Michelle Dowd's journalism and media class would be divided into groups and they would do journalism uh, media kits. And those kits would then be judged by professionals and the students would receive recognition and cash prizes. I'm very excited to find out who's going to win this journalism and media contest. Hi, this is Michelle Dowd, professor of journalism at Chafee College. I am so excited um, to be part of this project and to work on The Breeze Takes Flight with so many lovely people. Um, most definitely Clark Kennedy, who was able to uh, put all this together with the Chino Chamber of Commerce and um, all of our journalism students in our multimedia class who were really nervous about taking on something that they didn't know if they could do. And I am so pleased to have five teams complete this project and I'm so excited to hear the winners. Um, thank you Dubois Aviation, thank you Lou, and thank you to our mentors, Kaisa and Greg. We really appreciate you and we really appreciate all that you've done for these students. So if any of you are interested in taking journalism, we're going to be offering Journalism 30 and 31 in spring 2021, and we'll be doing new innovative projects. The journalism program loves to partner with community people and to um, take advantage of opportunities that we can um, do in our community. So if you want to come take some journalism, uh, Journalism 30 or 31 will give you a chance to do projects like these. Thank you all. Thank you, students. Thank you, Clark. And um, can't wait to hear the winners. I'm really excited to introduce the panel of judges for tonight. First, Scott Snyder, president and owner of Digital Media Services. Scott, welcome to the show. 
Thank you so much for inviting me to participate. It really is an honor for me to be here. Next, Bo Yarborough, reporter, Southern California News Group. All right, thank you, I'm, I'm glad to be here today. Deckard Hodge, English professor at Chafee College. Welcome. Thank you, Clark, I'm glad to be here. Uh, thanks for putting this whole production together. I think you do a very professional job and I really appreciate your generosity to Chafee students. Um, as an English professor at Chafee, um, I know how hard these students work. So thanks for giving them the opportunity to get up in the air and to put together a piece like this. And our fourth judge, Lyle Ballard, owner of Town Square Florist. Unfortunately, Lyle couldn't be with us here tonight, but we're very pleased to have him as a judge for this competition. Our first entry, Flight with Rudy. Nadine Hernandez, Jasmine Martinez, and Des Nunez. Look out the windshield, okay, and get a feel if the airplane's level. Yeah. Is the airplane flying? Is it descending? Is it turning right? Is it turning down? All right, who's flying? Loan advisor slash loan officer. 31 years in the business. Worked for a company, Golden One Credit Union. Great, great teacher. I, I, I could, if I ever decided to fly, this is where I would go to learn how to fly. Because I just felt relaxed and comfortable with him because he was so good at his job. It was, it was easy. I mean, you guys didn't get sick in the back, so that was a good sign. Why it do you just, still like to, you know? Because I consider myself a young 61. Love it. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. And it's a beautiful day to fly. I wasn't nervous, believe it or not, I was just kind of like, yeah. Yeah, it was a great experience. I mean, it was. It was fantastic. Just study hard, enjoy life, and move forward. I'm no Confucius, but you know, been around the block a couple times. family and uh, get that next stage of my life so that's a good thing we, we got we're only here once so yeah. we gotta you know take advantage of what we have and appreciate it and enjoy it and that's my thing and i figure i'm in the fourth quarter of my life so i've only got this last quarter so i gotta go for it all let's go to the judges what a great piece so I really like the photos in this one. They tell the whole story from getting to meet Rudy through being in the classroom with Lou, getting to see and hear Lou and being uh, up in flight. I especially appreciated all the flight video that really gave us a sense of that excitement. So right from the beginning of this video, there was good use of music and voiceover audio that was really nice. There was good shots of the ground. I don't think most people understand what it's like to be one of these small airplanes. It's it's much lower to the ground than an airliner. It's much higher up than you'd ever get from a drone. And so I think actually shooting out the window and showing what that was like was really useful. There were a few times where the voiceover audio was not matched up with the visual of the person talking. And I don't know whether they were uh, audio from one clip and video from another clip or whether it was uh, out of sync, but that was distracting once or twice. Good evening. 
Good evening, Panthers. I'm Dr. Henry Shannon, Superintendent President of Chaffee College. It's my pleasure to welcome you tonight to The Breeze Takes Flight. The Breeze Takes Flight competition is an annual competition that we are so pleased to support. The Breeze has been Chaffee College's independent student news source since 1921. We have paved the way for our students to transfer to four-year universities and secure jobs in the field of journalism. Recent transfers include the Cal State Universities and UC campuses, both in Southern and Northern California, Arizona State, and the Claremont Colleges. And we'll place students in internships with the LA Times Metro Program, the San Francisco Chronicle, Ms. Magazine, and the Southern California News Group. We have distinguished ourselves over and over in our 100 year college history, earning national awards from the Associated College Press for the best multimedia package, best podcast, best website, best newspaper magazine, and the best rate card. Congratulations to all the student teams competing tonight. And I want to say a special thanks to Mr. Clark Kennedy for sponsoring this competition for the second year in a row. Partnerships with our community partners helps Chafee College enable our Panthers to soar and soar. Thank you. Chafee College is really focused on student success. They invest in where you are and this place and time and where they can see you in the future. Everybody who is at Chafee are there because they truly want to make themselves better. So joining that community I think is not only a privilege but something that is kind of an investment <laughs> in yourself. Our second entry, and we're off. The breeze takes flight, Terry Fitch. Giselle Garcia, Jalen Mitchell. Okay, good morning, Mr. Terry. How are you? I'm very good. How about yourself? Very good. Thank you for asking. Um, so what got you interested in participating in today's um, flight experience? Well, I'm not a big flight fan, to be honest. Okay. But, uh, you know, we want to help you guys, you know, mm -hmm. get your classes, participate. I'm very active in the community, and so I, I love Chafee College. I think it's a great community college. So I thought, well, <laughs> and uh, they gave, suppose it was a free event, right? Yeah, so yeah. We won something, but mm -hmm. so I'm not a big fan. I used, but I just have done a lot. Of, I'm, I'm the uh, chairman of the Veterans Employment Committee, mm -hmm. so I work with Chafee and job fairs when well, we used to do job fairs. Okay, yeah. okay. And so I'm just, I just love the college. I like their... Um, their uh, stance on you know, educating. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that they're very good stewards of their money. Oh, okay. Lot, okay. I was lot. not familiar with that. Yeah, their bonds. You know, you know, schools go out and get bonds, right? To, mm -hmm. borrow, to build campuses. Well, the Chafee's are remarkably well organized from that standpoint. They don't go over. They spend what they're supposed to. And the last bond, they had to actually refund the money to the taxpayers. Oh, wow. Not that you never hear of. Okay. So. No, no. That yeah. is actually unusual. Yes. And so... So you said you're not a fan of uh, small, <laughs> planes. small planes. I flew a lot in corporate America when I was before I retired. I flew lots, I mean, oh. hundreds of thousands of miles. And uh. I was okay on the big planes, but I didn't like that either. <laughs> and the, why the is it? Ones. Why is it that I you think don't? It's the motion. I mean, as oh. a kid, I got motion sickness in the car. Okay. So if I'm driving, I'm good. Mm -hmm. If I'm riding, I'm not so good. <laughs> okay, that's okay. That's probably why. <laughs> And how are you and your family um, going, um, handling this whole coronavirus? It's been interesting. My son has become, if you girls do TikTok, mm -hmm. uh, he is a TikTok influencer from coronavirus. He's he built oh, a business. Okay. So he has, I, think, for him. I think he has a million followers. Mm -hmm. And he, th he did a thing called I mean, uh, quarantine games. Okay. So he started teaching kids what to do at home mm -hmm. uh, during this time. And he got a big following and now he's got sponsors and he actually worked with me for years, but he actually quit. Oh, okay. And he wants to do this, so he's he's live he live streams every day on TikTok, mm -hmm. and he he, uh, 
who loves it. Mm -hmm. and he's picked a big sponsor. So we've done pretty good there. Our businesses have really been effective. My wife is a speaker and author. Mm -hmm. So she, are, she had a whole schedule for traveling to colleges in the Midwest. They got canceled. Mm -hmm. uh, her books are still sitting there. Oh, you know, no. That she's written. Mm -hmm. And for me, my business is benefits for employees. And so a lot of companies have closed down, unfortunately. Now, they may come mm -hmm. back. But when they close down, they don't give benefits to their employees. So they don't have any employees. Let's see what the judges have to say. The video featuring Mr. Fitch uh, was a little difficult to judge. There was some great sound quality. Um, There's a lot of information in there. Unfortunately, uh, because there wasn't any air footage or anything even related really to airplanes, um, it made it seem like the videography team kind of misinterpreted the guidelines. So this one was a sort of interesting. There was good technical skills used and some of the photos were really good. I mean, just, just strikingly good photography. But the overall choice to make it about the contest uh, sponsor and about the contest itself rather than aviation was, was an odd choice. And maybe there was technical reasons that uh, everybody couldn't go up in the air. And I get that that happens in, in uh, producing journalism. But the photos were so good that I would have, in that case, switched over to using more of those photos as voiceovers instead of uh, shooting a long video of two people talking. Okay, so on this one, I felt like there could have been a little bit more story, right? I'm not even really sure if Terry Fitch got in the air or not. Um, so I would have liked to have heard maybe a little bit more about his flight experience and actually seen some of that, um, you know, instead of getting to hear about his family and what he likes about Chafee. Um, I did like seeing the interviewer on camera here. I thought that that was a nice presence to see um, the Chafee student doing the interviewing. Um, and I thought that there was a lot of good writing in this piece. So I appreciate the effort that went into that. Our third entry, opportunity of a lifetime, Giselle Martinez and Eric Spencer. My passion is especially with what's going on now, is to assist small businesses in streamlining their businesses and saving money doing it. I'm married, I have two grown children. I have a son who teaches at Don Lugo High School. <laughs> My daughter is a firefighter with San Manuel Fire Department. I've flown in small commercial planes. My father had a pilot's license and he took me up one time. <laughs> it was not a particularly good experience. What happened? Uh, well, I have a tendency for motion sickness. Okay. Um, I have a patch that I'm going to use for Friday just <laughs> to be safe. Engine's running, let go of it, just like you would your old starter in your car, okay? All right, clear! Nobody around? All right, go ahead and push it. Push it through, okay? Okay, let go, perfect!
wasn't terribly nervous. Um, it was fun. I'm Unexpected glad I though, did right? It. Yeah. You, you weren't expecting to take the controls, huh? No. Yeah. <laughs> Judges, your comments? Well, what a clearly outstanding uh, piece this is. Uh, opportunity of a Lifetime was a joy to watch. It felt so professional. Um, they really had in the photos with the captions and in the video production itself, um, a well put together story. It was the only piece that featured an interview before the day of the flight. And then it really carried the viewer through the entire experience from uh, getting to meet Judy in the restaurant and uh, taking the viewer through the shop, you know, the, the storefront where we sign in. We get to sit in the classroom. We get to board the cockpit and see Judy entering the plane. Um, we get some in-flight instructions from Lou where he takes his hands off. And then there's such great in-flight footage uh, from above. We even get to see the landing. And then to cap it all off, there's a nice interview with Judy at the end. And even the end credits made me feel like I'd watched this Hollywood production. It seemed so well put together. I had to, to watch it slowly to see that it was actually only two people who did all this work. Um, amazing job, Giselle and Eric. You guys were outstanding. The opportunity of a lifetime video was exceptionally well done. Uh, I was very pleased by the way the video introed. Um, it had a lot of titling that was terrifically well laid out uh, and very appealing. Uh, I think um, one of the opportunities might have been for a little less of the intro and a little bit more air footage, things like that. Uh, maybe try and draw people in more to the idea of going to learn about flight. Um, the actual points of view and showing how unique it was from looking up there really was enticing. I particularly enjoyed the startup sequence of the airplane and the ambient noise. It really made me feel like I was actually there. Uh, all in all, it was a great video. So this video started off with a really strong shot of a static uh, video image, which, you know, is, is actually great because it, whether it was a tripod or just mounting the camera on the table, it looked a lot better, a lot more professional than a lot of videos to see, including ones by professional journalists. So that was really great. There was a few times that camera shot uh, wobbled a little bit as though the camera's trying to autofocus. And so in doing this in the future, set the focus and then get it to stop doing autofocus. That was really good. Uh, otherwise. Uh, I also like the use of camera positioning that, you know, when uh, she was getting in the airplane, we had a shot from the outside, shot from the inside, and that, that told a story, and then just dropped all other audio and just went to natural audio of, of the instructor talking, and so that told really good storytelling just from elements that were already there. That was a really, a really strong piece. I'm standing here in front of the Chino Valley Chamber of Commerce office. In the Chino Historical Walk site. What is their mission statement? The Chino Valley Chamber of Commerce is a catalyst for business growth convener of learners and influencers, champion for stronger communities. The Chino Valley Chamber of Commerce continues to be the largest and most comprehensive business organization in the Chino Valley, speaking on behalf of its member firms. Members include a mix of companies of all sizes and industries, from entrepreneurial startup companies to large established business entities. The Chamber is a nonprofit organization financed through its members' dues, investment and revenue development programs. The Chamber is not a governmental agency and does not receive public funds for its operations. Your Chamber of Commerce team, from our board of directors to dedicated staff, is here to help your business prosper in good times as well as those which present challenges. If you haven't already, please stop by when you're able and meet the wonderful staff at the Chamber. Liz Devins, Marketing Assistant, Donna Gannon, Administrative Assistant, and Zeb Wellborn, President. Membership benefits of the Chino Valley Chamber of Commerce include membership brings credibility to your business, increases your visibility in the community, create networking opportunities, gain a voice in government, make business contacts, receive chamber newsletters, acquire customer referrals, chamber events and programs, promotion and publicity, access to members only discounts and services. Right after I became a new member of the Chamber, I met with Sandy Graham, one of the ambassadors of the Chamber. She said to me, help the business community to be a part of your business and help your business to be a part of the community. Those are really wise words.
If you want to join the chamber, check out the link below. Join the chamber today. Hi everybody, my name is Zeb Wellborn, president of the Chino Valley Chamber of Commerce. I really want to say thank you to Clark. I want to say thank you to you students for getting involved in this. And I want to say thank you to our chamber members who have also been along, the, along for the ride, along for this discovery ride with Clark Kennedy, Management Strategic Ideas, and Chafee College. We're really thrilled to be a part of this, part of this partnership. And I really want to say good luck to everybody and thank you all for participating. And now for our fourth entry, Viraj Meta with Dubois Aviation. Andrew Rodriguez, Daniel Vasquez, and Esteban Barrera. Aviation with Barrage, yes. and um, he was here. He took. He actually flew that plane over there. Yes. And uh, would you like to tell us how you was? Uh, yes, Daniel. The, the whole experience. Uh, and before getting on, I did feel nervous, uh, but the minute we got on, uh, Tyler was awesome. Uh, the minute we got up, it completely took out my anxiety. I was really relaxing. Actually, uh, I felt really relaxed just going around. The whole the whole thing for me was more relaxing than anything else. Yeah. yeah, you mentioned Tyler. How was how calming was it having Tyler in there with you? Like, like oh, yeah. There? I think that was the main part. Yeah, knowing that if I do, you know, turn too much or he got my back, he can adjust it. So uh, definitely, Tyler was very professional. Uh, he kept explaining me. I missed that all the way. So they made that much more easier for me. Okay. All right. So after your experience today, do you think this is something you'll do again? Absolutely, 100%. I see myself doing this. Uh, just the fact how relaxing it was, I think I enjoyed that part the most. So I do my, see myself coming uh, and experience this again in the future. Absolutely. Yes. Awesome. Judges, what do you think? The introduction for Mr. Mato's video was outstanding. The fact that they use multiple motion pieces and cuts in uh, imagery to create more motion and actually build excitement was very creative and very, very well done. Um, the volume was also well controlled and the uh, audio track was uh, very well matched and it was very easy to hear everything uh, and understand the dialogue as it went along. Um, I think one of the uh, uh, better things that they did too was the way they used uh, motion cuts and multiple cuts to hide the fact that they were shooting the, the video in lands, excuse me, in portrait instead of landscape. Um, again, that is a pet peeve, but it's one of those things that uh, as the contestants go forward, hopefully they'll learn that lesson and be able to uh, improve the video quality that way. Uh, the only thing that I was kind of wondering about is why was I there? It started with a great intro, but there was no 
purpose um, as far as, yeah, we're going flying, but why? So right from the beginning, there was this really neat chill music, uh, which I really liked that, that vibe that created, although the loop was a little short. And so I, I kept noticing it restarting. So if it was possible to find something like that, that was a little longer, that would be better. Um, but it was really good. I, I liked the, the feel because the other uh, videos this year didn't quite have the, the, the feeling of being up in the air and being chilled out. So again, that, this really got that. Um, there were a few other things though I didn't like as much, unfortunately. Uh, there was lots of different transition effects. Uh, whoever was putting out the video found all the transition effects and wanted to use all the good ones, which is a little distracting. You better just pick one for the video and choose that throughout. Um, and then at the end, after having all this good stuff with up in the air and, and, and silent and just music flying along, we end with a long sequence of two people talking in the hangar uh, with wind noise. I think it would have been a lot better to, as, as charming as those two gentlemen are, to have used their audio underneath the video at the beginning. But otherwise, I think it was a very strong video. So I like getting to hear from Viraj at the end. I thought it was a little hard to hear him. Um, I loved all the aerial video. I thought that was great. Um, but I think it was the first minute and 50 seconds, there was no sort of narration or voiceover that went along with it. So if I didn't know what I was watching, I wouldn't necessarily understand that it was a discovery flight or that it was a prize that had been won by Barrage. So a little bit more storytelling at the beginning to go along with all that great footage. And I think uh, you would have done even better. Hello, I'm Liz Conkastrita. Did you know that it takes 21 impressions for people to remember you? At West Coast Media, we know you need a reason for people to remember you. It's not enough just putting your name out there. West Coast Magazine has been serving the Inland Empire for 22 years. We have gained the respect of top businesses in our area by delivering excellent results and the best return for their investments. West Coast Magazine directly delivers to homeowners with incomes of 75,000 or more. We know we're not for everyone. Our readers want quality products and services they're not looking for the cheapest, they're looking for the best quality at the most reasonable prices. 90% of our readers are homeowners, influential, and committed to purchasing and supporting local businesses whenever possible. We maintain 50-50 ratio of ads and editorial. We create ads and unique client editorial that will get your business noticed. West Coast Magazine puts your business in front of the right type of buyer without having to give away half your profits through coupons or discounts. I invite you to contact us today. We will provide you with a marketing expert that will give you the right options in effectively reaching your potential client. If you want more information about West Coast Media, call us today at 909-390-5727. And for our fifth and final entry, a discovery flight by Caitlin. Caitlin Fav, Vanessa Fabian, and Aaron Butts. On September 26, me and my partner Aaron went down to Chino Aviation to Dubai to see what a discovery flight entails. Although I wasn't the designated pilot at the time, I got thrown into the situation, which was a perfect example of a discovery flight, and we created a short video to give a community the opportunity to understand what Dubai's offers and also what a discovery flight is. Here's what we learned. This is Lou. He's been a pilot since 1998 and an instructor since 2001. In February 2008, he opened his business, Dubai Aviation, and has since helped teach over 500 pilots how to get their license. Lou states that aviation is slowly dying and COVID hasn't helped. Currently, airlines and charters have been short of pilots, but even now more than ever with their furloughs, they're seeing a decline in interest in aviation. He hopes by having people that might not have previously considered flying get the experience of a discovery flight, it can maybe spark a new interest and maybe a career opportunity to help. When I first got to Dubois, Lou sat us down in a classroom and went over the basics such as the area we'd be flying over, what I'd be learning that day, a typical career path a pilot takes and what it looks like, and the time and money it costs just to get your basic pilot's license. He really elaborated on all the different job opportunities aviation can give someone. He then told us we'd be going outside to the hangar to go see what plane we'd be taking off for the day. Once we got on the plane, Lou then started communicating with the tower. He explained to me what everything meant 
and how to accelerate and slow down and steer the plane before takeoff. We went across the runway, where I then accelerated and steered the plane into the air. He headed us immediately into some hills that made me a little bit nervous, but I felt like I was in control because he was really good at describing where my levels needed to be when I was looking at my gauges. I felt really comfortable and actually started laughing and enjoying myself enough that I felt comfortable sending some snaps and some pictures along the ride. Lou continuously cheered me on and made me feel like I was doing a good job. He mentioned that I was a natural and started giving me more leeway. I felt overwhelmed once I realized I needed to not only watch what I was doing, but watch my elevation as well as my levels. Steering, looking, and trying to think at the same time seemed a lot more difficult in the air than driving. I kind of laughed and told him, I'm, I'm a little concerned I'm going to make us crash, but he asserted me that he had it under control. After about 20 minutes in the air, Lou decided we'd head back to the airport. He landed the plane and drove back. We talked and I mentioned how there was multiple people in my family who had got their pilot's license and that's something I'd always wanted to do but never had a spark or the motivation to do it. Moving forward, going to Dubois is where I know I'll go to get my pilot's license and I recommend Lou to anybody looking to get their license as well. My experience was great and I really appreciate the time. How do you feel about this one, judges? Whoa, I really like the expression on Caitlin's face. Uh, I like being brought into the cockpit with this crew. Um, I really appreciate the definition of a discovery flight. I think this is the only video that did that. Um, so really let us know what we were watching here. And of course, as a writing instructor, I've got to appreciate the solid writing in this piece. Nice job. On Caitlin's video, uh, the introduction and the graphics were very, very strong. Um, the intro was good. Uh, I might have suggested some script supervision uh, for use of proper grammar and make sure you had the name of the uh, school right. Um, one of the things that was a little bit of a detraction was uh, using the cell phone in uh, portrait mode as opposed to landscape. Uh, that's kind of a personal pet peeve of mine. Uh, but on the other hand, the uh, footage up in the air showing the unique point of view and um, the smiles and excitement really made me think that this is something I really want to um, take a look at, maybe give it a try. Okay, so. What I liked about this video, there was a real sense of personality. You really got to feel like you you were there with the girls up in the air. And I like that a lot. I like to use the narration throughout. Um, I do think that it came across as though there wasn't a discussion ahead of time about what format to shoot in. It was a mix of vertical and horizontal. While vertical has its place on, on some platforms, it's it was uh, distracting to have it switch back and forth repeatedly. Uh, and it really sort of robbed some of the shots of their power that we didn't have, you know, uh, a nice horizontal shot that was static uh, and get to see what was going on there. Well, we've seen the videos and the judges' scores are in and they've been submitted to John Rodell, a CPA here in Chino for over 13 years. Thank you, John. Well, we're getting to the point of the show where I'm anxious to find out exactly who's won this competition. But first, I want to introduce you to a long-standing friend of mine for over 30 years, my aircraft mechanic, an alumni at Chafee College, an employee of SpaceX, Buck Burns. And Buck's going to tell us who's won this competition. Right, Buck? <laughs> I'm all over it. You know, it has been a long history. It's always been central to uh, aviation and business. You were very helpful to me in, in running my own business. And uh, with the education uh, received at uh, Chafee College, it's uh, really given me a lot of uh, focus for the future. And I really appreciate everything that, uh, that both of you have done. Well, thank but, you uh, for that, Buck. I say we get to the envelopes. Let's find out who's won this thing. I'm all over it. Let's do Let's this. Let's do it. Honorable mention goes to A $300 prize to a discovery flight by Caitlin. Caitlin Fav, Vanessa Fabian, and Aaron Butts. Hi, my name's Caitlin. I'm the team leader for group number three. My two partners were Vanessa and Aaron. Um, my personal experience with this project was 
uh, that I enjoyed the time spent with Lou and I appreciated him taking the time and the opportunity to give us as students a different outlook on uh, aviation and flying, but also the opportunity to do a project that was outside of the classroom given the circumstances with our pandemic. It wasn't, I'd say, the easiest thing to maneuver through. However, uh, it was different. And I can honestly say that it was the only group assignment and of any of my classes I've taken throughout the pandemic that I was able to be a part of. And I appreciated the time and what I learned. Hi, guys. I didn't have the opportunity of attending um, the actual flight. Um, but it was nice. It was nice actually getting to meet Aaron and Caitlin and we got to, um, you know, know each other a little closer. I tried to help as much as I could when it came to like the, the writing part of the assignment and actually um, scheduling the flight. I try to do more of the, of the background work, I guess you can say. Um, it was hard. It, it was, it was really difficult to actually get through like the edit and then being able to just manage and, and kind of being able to do the project as a whole with the whole pandemic without actually seeing each other, actually getting to meet each other, actually being able to, you know, interact with each other and, and, you know, just getting to know each other so that we could get that um, shown through the video. It wasn't easy, but I enjoyed it. Um, I'm glad that we did it. It was a really different experience. I wish I would have even um, been able to fly it. Um, but I couldn't, but it was still nice. So thank you. So I was on the flight as well. I had the opportunity to be on site and record. Um, so that was interesting and new for me. I've never been on a four seater plane before and it was way less scary than I thought it was going to be. But I think it just showed me that the editing process and all of the recording, there's a lot that goes into it to tell the three minute story that you get to see. So I, I really enjoyed it, even though it was hard. I feel like I gained a lot of experience for it, from it, so yeah. Once again, I just wanna say I appreciated the time that Lou took out of his day to um, teach us. And I know our circumstances were a little different because I was flying rather than having somebody of the Chamber of Commerce. However, given our circumstance, I think we kind of had um, a benefit because we were able to communicate and kind of understand the direction that we needed to go. So I think that was awesome. Moving forward, obviously, I know the Chamber of Commerce um, is involved and that they want to give that opportunity to their members. But I would highly suggest if somebody last minute can't make it or doesn't want to do the flight, allowing the opportunity to the student um, to maybe fly because for me personally, it gave me a different um, understanding and experience that I wouldn't have had if I wouldn't have been able to fly and it probably would have been different because Aaron wouldn't have been able to be sitting in the back recording me because mm -hmm. that would have been me. We have another honorable mention prize. A $300 prize and we're off. The breeze takes flight. Terry Fitch, Giselle Garcia, and Jalen Mitchell. Hi, my name is Jalen. I'm part of Team Four. Um, the favorite part, my favorite part of the project was the writing part and the photography part. I'm a photographer or a learning photographer, so it was really fun to be able to um, express like that certain part of it because there were great shots that were able to be taken. Um, my favorite shot was of the soundboard of like the board that um they see when they're flying the plane there's a lot of a lot more gadgets than um we all know to that, that we all think that there is um my award winner um was he was somewhat familiar with planes um but wasn't the hugest fan of small planes um but after the uh flight he was very excited like very happy about um the flight itself and had a great time uh, along with me and my partner who is no longer on the project. Um, I did the writing and the photography again. Um, the writing, it was a, a, another fun part because I was able to um, recreate and re-project the experience that I got to 
have at the Aviation Center. And it was just a really great time all together. The um, pilot was really fun to talk to. He, had, he was very informative in the knowledge that he had. And it made the project and the flight go a lot smoother. Um, I'm excited for you guys to see it. And thank you. We have a winner for our third place prize. A $600 third place flight with Rudy, Nadine Hernandez, Jasmine Martinez, and Des Nunez. Congratulations. Alrighty, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Jasmine. Hey guys, and I'm Nadine. And I'm Des. Hello. <laughs> And um, we just wanted to tell you what we grabbed from the experience and our special thanks. Um, I feel like I'm very grateful, first of all, to be placed with um, Nadine and Des in this project. I feel like we worked like really well together um, with the interest in like this multimedia project. Um, I've never worked with a multimedia project, so it was like really cool um, for us to actually have the experience of putting something out there like that and um, having you know, a writing component and um, the video component, photography, um, you know, audio, just like all kind of thrown into one project and uh, it was really special. Most definitely, uh, just to basically sum up what Jasmine was saying, it was, it was something so new, um, even using the programs for it, uh, learning that so many different components of multimedia is embedded into a video. It also allowed me to appreciate, um, you know, cinematography a bit more when I watch a movie. And after going, you know, going through that editing process, um, I just have more appreciation for graphic design and cinematography, uh, videographers, photographers, um, anything really um, within that field. And yeah, same thing. Like, I was super grateful to be placed with Des and Jasmine. They're both so creative and we worked very, very well together. We instantly like sparked in a sense just because we have so many great ideas that we wanted to include in this video. And that's something that I did say that if we would have started earlier, I feel like the outcome would have been even more spectacular than what we did come up with, but I'm very happy with it. And I learned a lot of things, especially how to use Adobe Premiere Pro. So that was super fun. Um, I definitely am grateful for the opportunity to be able to grow those skills, um, especially you know going into this class. I didn't think that we would have an opportunity to work on something so hands-on and um, you know be accommodated in so many ways. Um, you know, so it's a big thanks to, you know, uh, Dubois Aviation and, um, you know, and Michelle and everybody else who worked in the background to be able to uh, allow us, you know, to, to interview these subjects, especially Rudy, he was great. Um, he was very fun to talk to. Um, and to be able to, you know, uh, be partnered up with Nadine and Jasmine was a total honor and was a lot of fun. Um, so, you know, I think we can move forward with this, not only like have a cool, uh, you know, project to put on our portfolios, but also to, you know, uh, have like uh, contacts that, that we'll be able to, you know, build off of in the future. That's really cool. So we have about 30 seconds left, but um, just wanted to say yes, uh, piggybacking off of what Des said. Thank you, uh, Michelle. Thank you, Devoit. Aviation. Thank you, Rudy. Thank you, Michelle. I appreciate everything that you do for the breeze. Um, these opportunities, they seem very far, but being in journalism, you make them happen. So thank you. And also thank you, Dubois Aviation, for having us. It was a lot of fun. Thank you, Rudy. It's just lots of lots of thanks for that and uh, for the opportunity. And I definitely think we'll be seeing some uh, like cool projects come out of this and um, some, you know, growing journalists out of, come out of this for sure. Yay. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. And the winner of our second place prize
a $900 second place prize, Virage Meta, Flying with Dubai Aviation. Andrew Rodriguez, Daniel Velasquez, and Esteban Barrera. Congratulations. Hi everyone, my name is Esteban Barrera and I was in team one for the aviation project. I just want to say thanks to everybody that helped out with this project, uh, the free staff, uh, the people in the airport, they're all really nice. Uh, anybody uh, that helped out really, I just wanted to say thank you. Uh, this project really uh, was really great. Uh, I learned uh, about, I had no idea how to do a multimedia package, so it was really great uh, to be able to work with people, especially because of COVID and all, so we were able to communicate via text messages or Zoom, we're just trying to work together to collaborate in this amazing project. And um, yeah, this experience was really great and uh, I hope to do it again soon. Thank you. Thank you. And for first place, We have a $1,200 first place prize, an opportunity of a lifetime. Giselle Martinez and Eric Spencer, congratulations. I just wanted to create a short video giving a little bit of thanks to the people that put this together on behalf of Giselle and I and our team that uh, created the piece, Opportunity of a Lifetime. We wanted to thank the uh, Chino Valley Chamber of Commerce we wanted to thank Clark Kennedy, which I know he kind of put this whole thing together. We also wanted to give thanks to Lou Dubois from Dubois Aviation and our flight winner, Judy Conacher, who was a lovely person. And um, we learned quite a bit as well from this project. Giselle, what are a few things you learned? I learned how to edit a video for one. Like, it was a simple thing once you started, especially if you used iMovie. I recommend using iMovie for beginners. And I learned how to storytell. And I really hope that we gave the message of what this whole project was about. That's so, some similar things that I learned as well. I, I definitely have not conducted too many interviews. And so I definitely learned a lot about that. Um, got some experience doing it. I definitely learned a lot about collaboration because I've, I've never really collaborated on it with anyone on something like this before. I haven't edited a video, so thank God we had Giselle because, you know, as much as she says it's easy, it, um, if it were up to me, it probably wouldn't have come out as cleanly as it did. But, um, you know, we came up with, uh, you know, a good way to tell a story and we did our best to try to execute that. And, um, you know, I think we're both happy with, our project and we're both really grateful to the people that made this possible and I hope uh, going forward that this kind of continues because it's really beneficial to students so thank you guys again. What a fantastic show thank you for watching I want to thank the contestants Chino Valley Chamber of Commerce, Chafee College and Chino Airport for all their support I hope that someday you find your passion